Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome cross watchers to those of you who are visiting for the first time. Glad to have you join us. Do come in, say hello in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from, especially if you're new to the channel. Um, I do later on this evening, I, I will circle back around when I'm kind of glued to the boob tube and I will say hi and reply to your comments. Um, <clears throat> that's usually when I do that. And so I'm going to open up the reading by pulling from Gateway of Light Activation. We are still in the energy of Lion's Gate. The portal usually runs from the end of July to mid-August. Um, it peaks on 8-8. On 8-8, I did do a special bonus reading for Lion's Gate. If you missed it, it's there on the channel. Go watch it. It was pretty powerful. Energy was peak. Um, I was at full tilt. So go catch that. Yeah, I also talked about these beautiful bracelets. There's um, a link to the website with a special discount offer for my subscribers and viewers. So I just want to make sure you're aware of that. And also, um, today is the 11th. There, uh, Tomorrow, the 12th, is the last day for the um, Lionsgate $88 off my regular rate for private reading. So if you've been pushing that off and you've been thinking about it and you're not sure if you want it, that that opportunity goes away tomorrow. So the link is below for that as well. All right, Libra, from Gateway of Light Activation Oracle, let's get you a card to kick off this reading, shall we? The Central Sun. Beautiful. The Central Sun, abundance, downloads, regeneration, and success. Yes. Oof. The Central Sun. How much more Lion's Gatey can we get? Let me get you your message here. Um, it says the it's it's like blinding, isn't it? When you look at that, like I have to pull back. It says your message: the great central sun is shining brightly in your life and upon your world. This is a time to regenerate. Tiredness and old energy are being washed away. Old skins have peeled off to reveal a sacred and more aligned you. This is an exciting time. Central sun energy is magnetic and all powerful, opening you up to light and supporting you as you express your own light in this lifetime. New ideas, opportunities, and experiences come easily to you at this time. Like the sun kissing the perfectly ripe soil, the seeds you have planted are being encouraged to grow. Realize that in order to go beyond your horizon, it's important for you to welcome energetic exchanges when you help others, you let yourself be helped in return. When you invest energy in projects, you let energy be invested in yourself. Well, so let me say, I love this because, and it's so fresh in my mind because it was at the point that I pulled, uh, I did a special spread in that Lionsgate reading if you didn't watch it. And it was uh, a special spread. And when I got to the card, um, I pulled the seven of pentacles and I used the light seers tarot deck. And like all of a sudden, so much, so many messages were coming through. And like, like the sun kissing the perfectly ripe soil, the seeds you have planted are being encouraged to grow. And it was at that moment that I, you know, every time I pull the seven of pentacles, I say the same phrase because in the Rider Waite tarot, it's like the guy standing there leaning on a rake, looking at the garden, there's all these pentacles. And I always say the day you plant the seeds is not the day the garden grows, but there's always a little bit of a disconnect because we're looking at the garden, we're looking at the pentacles there. But in the light seer's tarot, it's a man kind of looking at these little teeny sprouts and he's right at the level of the earth. And then you can see below the earth and it's like all those pentacles are below. And it was just that moment where it sort of was all in alignment for me when I'm trying to convey to everybody, 
is that all the activity is below when we set the intentions and we can't see the fruits of that yet. When all we see are little sprouts, but we're not sure what's really growing, you know, what, how much trust is involved. So I hope that makes sense. Abundance downloads, regeneration and success. I love that sentence. Like the sun kissing the perfectly ripe soil, the seeds you have planted are being encouraged to grow, right? You're not seeing it yet, but it's there. It's right underneath. Oh, I'm just so excited for you, Libra. I got a lot of Libra in my chart, so I'm very excited for all of us. <laughs> anyway, I hope that, uh, go watch that reading because that was when I had a lot of click, click, click. You know, sometimes... I hear it almost make that Rubik's Cube sound in my head. It's sort of an auditory thing that happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do, for those of you who are still watching, is I'm going to pull my Twin Flame Soulmate spread. And let's see where you are with this connection. Um, and we'll get details from the clarifiers, Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's go. Hey, yo. All associated with Lionsgate, Leo Energy, Leo Season. It's about perseverance. It's about supporting each other. It's about overcoming obstacles. All right, I like it. This is where you are. This is where your person is. This is your karmic challenge. This is their karmic challenge. Okay, opportunity and divine guidance, right? Oh my goodness, Libra, really powerful reading already. So as I said, my general impressions, um, your shared energy is wrapped up in how you can support each other and help each other. I love this, um, right? The figure eight here, 888. Uh, we're in a triple eight um, because of 2024 reduces to another eight. The strength card, she's taming this lion, this beast who protects her in return. There's this kind of symbiotic connection between them that crosses all time and space. Um, but it's a connection that's based on um, overcoming the odds and the obstacles and persevering. Where are you right now? I, I feel like you're in this energy uh, where you're open to maybe some reconciliation. You're... Um, your, your emotional constitution is looking for a cause for celebration here, maybe a coming together. And your person is mm, perhaps miserable without you, <laughs> right? Miserable without you. I, I'm feeling that. Uh, your karmic challenge is in the persevering, is in the tough, toughing it out. Uh, it's a struggle. When we see the nine of wands, it's um, exhausting. And sometimes when we hit this point, we are just like so ready to throw in the towel. But the message of the nine of wands is to not give up because you're really close. You're really close. And so um, we can be weary at this point. We can feel a little battered and bruised. Um, and we can be asking ourselves, what's it all for? What's it all about? Well, this is what it's all about. Um, your person's karmic challenge is in the expression of their feelings. This is someone who feels very deeply and then kind of locks it all up in there. Uh, the King of Cups notoriously struggles to share their feelings and sometimes as a result is emotionally unavailable. So um, we got that. The opportunity is about the going of the distance, right? It is about the long haul, the long term uh, life partnership and all the abundance that that brings. It's about creating a life, uh, building a life. It is about legacy. You know, what we work so hard in our lives to build, what is it all about? You know, it's about leaving a mark, um, our footprint in the sand. It's, you know, what we're leaving for the generations that follow, um, that we create or are a part of. 
um, you know, in extended families, even it doesn't matter if you have children or want to even it's just, you know, it's, it's the life we're a part of in an extended fashion. But in tarot, when I read for relationships, to me, this is about a relationship that has some legs and <laughs> can go the distance. Yeah. And then spirits guidance, the divine guidance here is, and that requires an equal investment and generosity, not being stingy. Yeah. Creating some equanimity right it's it's not just about things being equal it's about things being equitable between us <clears throat> and it's not equitable if if only one of us is giving of our heart if only one of us is pushing through the other one holding back keeping keeping their heart locked away and then being miserable about it. Okay? Okay. So the love is there on both sides. I'm, I'm seeing the love is there. Now let's see how we can help each other both get what we both want and came for. Woo! So the message that's kind of coming through is um, really neither one of you want to be alone, right? Like we, the Nine of Pentacles isn't coming through this time because this card represents the connection. So neither one of you really want to be alone. Although you're both pretty self-sufficient, it's coming through as an energy. Nine of Pentacles is a single person in the tarot. So the communication needs to be like, we got to work on this, right? We got to work on it. Um, it's what it's what's not being spoken about, like the elephant in the room. And and we have to help each other. We have to help each other overcome whatever the obstacles are. And the only obstacle I'm seeing at this moment, although there may be others, is there's some sort of difficulty, um, maybe something that feels like it's out of balance um, with regard to emotional availability, the sharing of feelings. Let's see. Okay, so where you're at right now with this connection, Three of Cups. The Nine of Wands again, the Page of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Oh, okay, hold on. Stick a pin in that. Let me pull with this person with the Four of Cups. Okay. I just wanted to be sure because I wasn't sure if I was um, being led in a dip one specific direction. you're trying to be optimistic here but it's been dragging on there's this energy with this nine of wands which is like your albatross you're trying to stay positive but ugh, it, it, it's wearing you out it's wearing you down what's underneath which for those of you who are new is either playing out behind the scenes or it's in your unconscious awareness and I'm feeling like there's this energy of like, you know, come on back. Let just, just, just do it. Just take the action. Just act in the moment. Like, don't think, just do. Right? The, 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 the Knight of Wands is, is very action oriented, is very inspired in the moment. And, you know, when we're dealing with the page and it, it is, it is exciting and it is, positive and uplifting and it is there are messages and it feels like you're open to a message of reconciliation of a coming back together of having a good time of not like you're not trying to douse the whole situation with intensity here 
You're staying on the positive side, but the whole situation is exhausting you, wearing you down, and there's no action that you're sensing. And I can see why, because this person is really dour. This person is dour. This person is miserable without you. It's got the weight of the world on their shoulders and is kind of losing hope. And remember, the energies can be reversed, but I'm feeling like this person... Um, Underneath is the Ace of Swords. I feel like there's something trying to break through. This, the Aces are gifts from Spirit. You see the hand there? Ooh, Spirit saying, here, I'm trying to help you see this. I'm trying to help you see that you might need to kind of say how you feel instead of sitting. I'm handing you this Ace. There's the hand of Spirit again. I'm handing you this Ace of Cups. So you can see that how you feel is valid. And if you shared those feelings, it might make you, it might make all the difference. But this person is just miserable without you. And yet they won't kind of lift themselves up out of that energy. And you're over here trying to keep it positive but you're wearing thin so now let's look at the knight uh, i mean the nine of wands for your karmic challenge makes sense because all the other cards are very positive for you but things are moving very very slow you're still in some form of separation no communication things are growing very stagnant. I see this and it makes sense. It makes total sense. And so it's your karmic challenge to deal with, but it's almost by proxy from theirs, right? It's not, okay, let me make sure you understand this. If it wasn't for this person not being able, able to see that they're causing their own misery, right? They're miserable without you because they're not willing or, or they're not able to see how their inability or their unwillingness to share how they feel about you, to express their feelings, while you're over here kind of cheering them on from the sidelines, you want that, you want to receive the positive message, you want the reconciliation, you're kind of like cheering them on, like, come on, just do it, just take the chance, take the, do it, do it, do it. And because they won't, or for some reason they're unwilling to, or can't maybe, that's why you have this karmic challenge because they're not, there's no communication, there's separation, there's no movement, there's stagnation. And so this perseverance, this not giving up, this hanging in there is your karmic challenge by proxy of theirs, if that makes sense. Because a lot of times, in most cases, the karmic challenge is what you have to work on for you and what they have to work on for them. But it feels like there's a domino effect here. Wow, okay, King of Cups for your person's karmic challenge. Yeah, they have and I know that this is not technically the Ace of Cups, but if you see, the Ace of Cups is being handed to the figure in the card. And their focus is on that three cups here. Okay? And they're kind of like focused on the wrong thing. They're focused on what they don't have. When... That Ace of Cups is right in their line of sight. 
It's being offered by spirit. So I'm kind of seeing three aces here now. Um, and, and I know that might seem a little odd, but I'm trying to tell you that there's so much being offered to this person. Because here's another ace, the ace of wands. And they're resisting it. And the seven of pentacles um, that I mentioned here, there's like this energy that this person is waiting for something. And spirits, they're losing hope here, but spirits saying, I'm, I'm trying to show you, I'm trying to help you see. And here they're waiting for some, I don't know what, to reveal their feelings. And spirits like, all you gotta do is grab this opportunity. The Ace of Wands, divine gift of inspired passion. Go, baby, go, baby, go. And they're like resisting it, waiting for some, I don't know what they're waiting for. So I will be looking at this person in greater detail over um, on the extended. But there's definitely something here that this person is clueless about. They're not seeing it. The love is available to them that they can't see. I'm, I'm calling it that, that, that four of cups, there's an ace in there, in that four of cups. And it's weighing on them and they're losing hope over this. And, and spirits trying to help them see what's available to them. And, the, and they're feeling great, deep, well, you know, they've got a deep, well reservoir of love for you, but they're waiting on something before they act, but the ace is there available to, I don't know, and they're resisting. Said this in another reading, in this series of readings earlier, it's a riddle. It, this person is, it's like an enigma. It's either they can't see it or they don't want to see it. So let's see the opportunity with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, the Moon, Emperor. Well, the opportunity is that the Divine Masculine, I'm calling it, uh, has to deal with their fear of a long-term connection not working out, right? Whoever this person is, has fears of painful endings, right? So the opportunity is for the long haul, but the opportunity is more about dealing with fear and possibly um, unrealistic fear, right? Uh, imagined fear, imagined fear of painful endings. Now, should, could this person, and it's a general reading, so different for everyone, could this person have been through a painful long-term relationship ending? Yep. Could this person have been through a divorce? Yep. Could this pain person have been through a, a child of divorce? Yep. Uh, yep, 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 yep. But all this love is available to them, all this love that they feel for you, and they're kind of like, I can't see it, I can't share it, I can't act on it, and now I think I see why, because there's fear of pain, fear of something very final. that only they can take the action on. So the opportunity position usually shows you what's available, what the opportunity is, 
And since we know there is great potential for the future for this connection, now we're seeing what the impediment to that is and who it is that likely um, has to deal with that impediment. That's why I said the karmic challenge for you is by proxy. So let's see divine guidance. The divine guidance with the six of pentacles, which I love being the divine guidance, is talking about the investment. Um, you got to be equally invested and not 50-50. It has to be, you have to be 100% invested, each of you, to kind of make it work. And that requires some measure of liberation, right? Getting yourselves, each of you, out of any prisons of your own making, especially this person who's really struggling, um, could be struggling with overthinking, self-doubt, self-limiting beliefs. Um, yeah, this person may for some reason be in that headspace of, I can't have a long-term connection. I'm afraid that I can't have that for whatever reason, right? that that's not how it's going to go for me and so they've kind of talked themselves into this small small chamber of existence and so they're with the page of swords what i like here is it, it's about um getting clear on that message is that what's really happening here is that why things are not balanced? Is that why you may be giving more than they are giving? Is it not that they're not capable? Is it that they're in a very limited space for themselves because of their beliefs about that? Um, and the death card underneath is interesting to me because the death card talks about possibilities for growth, change, and transformation and what we have to cut out and leave behind. It is about release. It is about the letting go of certain things that hold us back and limit us. So I love these two in the same little portion. I love the divine guidance of this, but the but there's curiosity in the um, page of swords. So divine guidance is be sure you know what this is really all about, what the imbalance is, what the the lack of the give and take of it all is what you are perceiving as someone who is not emotionally available. What is that really all about? Like open up your curiosity because it may be something different than what you feel it might be. Um, I really feel like there's something that is keeping this person very small and uh, limiting their ability to see themselves as capable of having something very long lasting and expansive and abundant. Um, and it has little to nothing to do with you as a human being. It is a fear. It is a fear. Well, that went, that went long and it got deep, did it not? <laughs> Okay, so, huh, whew. but it's, I mean, these are why these readings are important. Lion's Gate is ascension oriented. Um, the deck that I used here, Gateway of Light, is ascension oriented. So you're supposed to walk away with feeling like, oh my gosh, you know, first of all, you're supposed to come through feeling lighter for yourself at the very least maybe with some enlightenment about the connection or the person you're supposed to see potential little you know spots where there may be room wiggle room for 
something to open up, some dialogue, some opportunities for understanding. All of that is what this particular series of readings has been about. So if you feel any of that, if you've gotten confirmation, some insight, some, oh my gosh, never even thought I thought of, thought of seeing it that way, and you haven't already, please subscribe below. I'm asking for that. And I don't ask till the end because I want to earn that subscribe. I, I'm, I'm not like all the bells and whistles. I keep it to the end so that I don't disrupt the reading for you. Um, but yeah, this is my job. This is what I do for a living. Okay. I'm here by myself. I got no spouse, no roommate. Like this is what I do. And so I can't stay here. I, I'm, if I don't have a way of showing YouTube that I'm for real and your subscriptions and your views and your engagement shows YouTube that I'm for real. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm gonna give you the astrology, but don't forget I'm going to the extended. There are links below in the description box below that will take you there. Make sure you look at the links because there are three different options for how you can access this extended, just so you know. All right, here we go. Strength card, Leo. Um, this little nine of pentacles is Virgo, by the way. I like to say that. We've got the um, page of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is Sagittarius, the knight of wands. The star is Aquarian energy. Knight of pentacles, more Virgo. High priestess is actually the moon. Um, hanged man is Neptune. Neptune rules uh, Pisces, King of Cups, some Scorpio. Got the moon here. Um, that's Pisces. Emperor is Aries and our Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Death card is Scorpio. That's what I have for you, Libra. I know that went long, but it was pretty powerful. And I will see you over on the other side at the extended. Bye for now.